great white sharks are said to be the rulers of the sea. But there is one creature that terrifies these aquatic kings more than anything else. And that's because these boogeymen of the ocean love a good great white liver. Hi, my name is Jeff and welcome to Laugh Pack. It is a group to call your own. And today, we are covering a sea creature that knows all about the power in numbers. But it's not because they are small. Orcas live all around the world in groups called pods. Watching them swim, it may remind you of dolphins more so than whales. And there's a good reason for that. Although they may have other names referring to them as whales, they are actually the largest dolphins alive. It's hard to see from the water's surface, but adult orcas are massive. On average, they're about as long as a small school bus anywhere from 19 to 27 feet long, and they can weigh up to six tons. Next time you're on a bus, imagine yourself taking a ride on an orca. Now imagine that that orca is helping you hit subscribe on this channel because they just found out you haven't done so yet. Hey, don't look at me, it's what the orcas want. Oh yeah! Now in order for us to paint a better picture of what these fishy mammals look like, we're gonna have to dive into some more details. So let's do it. Number one, sleep. For most humans, our bodies tend to take care of themselves, even when we're sleeping. From heartbeats to breathing, from mental REM cycles to digestion, our bodies do a lot of the work for us. Orcas don't have it so easy, especially when it comes to breathing. They need to remember to breathe, even when they're sleeping. Not to worry, they were made with a great way of doing this. One half of an orca's brain will rest while the other half stays alert to control things like, you know, coming up for air. This consequently means that an orca sleeps with one eye literally open. That's why they call you one-eyed willy, one-eyed willy. What do you mean by that? This form of rest is known as unihemispheric sleep. Once that side of the brain is fully rested, it's the other half of the brain's turn, and the opposite eye will close for some much needed R&R. Number two, wolves. If you've ever heard about the way wolves hunt, then you have an idea of how orcas hunt too. You know, in things like packs, coordinating their attacks. Ooh, that rhymed. No Jeff, focus. Anyways, it can be hard to watch orcas hunt, but there is no doubt they are skilled hunters. For instance, they've been known to beach themselves by sliding out of the water onto the shore to scare sea lions into the water not knowing that there are other orcas in the water waiting to feed. Another technique is to locate a seal resting on the thick ice. Once they've locked on their target, these giant dolphins will begin to break said ice. If the prey, like this seal, hasn't already jumped into the water to get away, then one or a couple of orcas will intentionally cause a large wave to hit that ice, specifically to force their prey into the water. Once that happens, it's pretty much time to ring the dinner bell. Ooh, it's dinner time! What's even worse, specifically for their prey, is that orcas tend to teach their young in the process of hunting. Which is totally not fair! That would be like a ghost scaring me when I was a kid, and then teaching their kid ghosts in the future how to scare my kids now. It's like a sick cycle of terror. Emotional damage! Number three, speed. An orca's large body is streamlined, or hydrodynamic, like a submarine. This characteristic helps them glide through the water easily, allowing these water pandas to swim very fast. Whales have flukes, or tails, used for swimming. The flukes are moved in an up and down motion to accelerate. The dorsal fin of these large dolphins acts like the keel of a boat. It keeps the orca from rolling side to side while swimming. Also, they have pectoral flippers just behind the head. These pectoral flippers are used for steering, turning, and even stopping. Stop! For their size, orcas are very fast, reaching speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. However, this speed can't be held for very long, so they generally swim at speeds of around 4 to 5 miles per hour. Number 4 versus Great Whites Dolphins are carnivores that eat fish, squid, and small crustaceans. And orcas are among the few species that also hunt marine mammals, such as whales and 
other dolphins. They even like hunting sharks. But the one shark they enjoy hunting that is the most impressive is the great white. A what? Great white shark. An orca's strategy when going after these massive fish is to incapacitate it with one blow. Once a great white is in view, and if the orcas are hungry, they will shift into turbo and ram the fish as hard and fast as possible. They may even bite onto a fin or two, ripping them off in one pass, keeping the shark from being able to escape. After they have the shark at their mercy, they will then more often than not use their three inch long teeth to target the shark's liver, either because of the nutrients it provides or because that was the meal their mama orca made them on a cold rainy day. And it is a nice meal chock full of nostalgia, but probably the first reason. Number five, lifespan. The average life expectancy here in America for human females is around 80 years old, whereas males have a slightly shorter lifespan. I wonder why. There has always been an age difference in human mortality, but that is much more prevalent in these Dalmatians of the sea. Statistics show that the average life expectancy of orcas in the wild is estimated at about 30 years for males, but females, well, they can live anywhere from 50 to 80 years old. Dang, that's old. What? And much like female humans, orcas can normally reproduce between the ages of 15 and 40. And no, I don't need any emails. I'm not saying a 15 year old should reproduce. I'm just saying it's possible. Number six, air. An orca's maximum time of holding their breath is about 15 minutes. But on average, we see them surface at least once a minute while moving quickly or every three to five minutes when traveling, which is still very impressive. But how do they do it? Well, it's not because they have bigger lungs. Their lungs are about the same size as ours in comparison to their bodies. To start, they have a very efficient respiratory system. Whales tend to exhale first, getting rid of all the stale air in their lungs before taking in a fresh, clean breath. Humans, on the other hand, breathe in first and then exhale, leaving a lot of stale air in their lungs. For perspective, humans only absorb about 5% of the oxygen in a single breath. Compare this to a whale who can absorb as much as 90% of the oxygen in each breath. Show off. On top of that, to stop using so much oxygen, diving mammals can shunt blood flow from their extremities and push it to their brain, heart, and muscles. They also shut down the function of lesser organs like kidneys and liver. Doing all of this allows them to stay underwater way longer than you or me. It does help that on top of everything else, orcas can lower their heart rate. Yeah, sure, most mammals can do this when they dive, even humans, but in these marine mammals, the slowdown can be extreme at a mere 22 beats per minute. The average human's resting heart rate is anywhere from 60 to 100. Aww. So is that slow? Do you think you can get your heart rate down lower? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't done so already, join the pack by hitting subscribe. We are happy to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't go putting on a seal costume and sleeping on a slab of ice in the middle of the sea. And remember, it's pack or nothing.